Hello and welcome to another edition of Steric Video Support Series. I'm Eric Perkins and on this episode today we're going to be talking about syringes. We're going to look at as the plunger extracts and inserts. We're looking for a nice smooth insertion extraction. As you can see in the little test fixture we have over here, we're going to be uh, sucking up some fluid and pushing it back into the beaker. Okay, for this particular test, we're going to be using the following. We're going to be using an FMM 330 with L2 Plus. And the test we're going to set up for is an ISO test 7886-1, and we're going to use Annex G. So getting started here, you can see I've already created the syringe test. So let's go in and look at it real quick. So starting at the top, the pre-test, pretty much all I did was set the home position, the datum, I zeroed both my uh, load and my distance. We're going to be using newtons and millimeters in this test. So for our first point, we're going to pull to 23.33 millimeters at 100 millimeters a minute. And when we get there, we're going to return back to zero millimeters at 100 millimeters a minute. In post-test, all we did was tell it to return home after that, so it went back to its home position. That's the entire test. So let's move into actually running the test. So we're going to hit the start button here. And you can see the system pulling. Now we're doing the extraction first, like I mentioned earlier. So the first part of the data you're going to see is the extraction data <clears throat> up to the 23.33 millimeters. So there we go. And now the bottom half of the graph is basically the insertion. Now we're putting the fluid back into the beaker. So if you notice, we've crossed zero. So we went from a tension test to a compression test. And there we go. The test is done. It's going to do a calculation for us. So here was our extraction peak. Here's our insertion peak. Basically, this is the extraction average. So I picked two points here. Did the average line, as you can see, going through. Also did the same thing here where I have two points one and two here, and this is our insertion uh, data as we're inserting it back in there. So here's all the data there, and that's that.